Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, it's good to see you guys back here on the channel. I have a different uh, kind of a video today. I'm gonna to do like a spotlight on Flickr Alley, their uh, distributor in the US. I've done some work with them previously and I have a couple of titles that I was building up that I wanted to review uh, all in one go here. So I thought I would make this uh, video a little bit different. So I do want to talk about a couple of movies that I have already reviewed for these guys previously. Um, they do some fantastic like remasters and uh, nice sets. So one movie uh, I did review before was The Man Who Laughs, 1928, the silent movie. Um, Conrad Voigt's in this and this really inspired uh, Joker, the look of Joker. Uh, fantastic 4K remaster, two discs, uh, Blu-ray DVD and you get the book in there as well. That was, the, I reviewed this when I had the podcast uh, a good while ago. And then along with that, they sent me The Last Warning, 1929. Again, silent movie, remastered in 4K. You get the dual format and the booklet in there as well. Uh, really fantastic stuff. Um, uh, really enjoyed these and then more recently here actually on the channel the movie vault i'll stick a link up in the corner here if you want to check this video out i reviewed the lost noir classic trapped uh, directed by richard fleischer and starring a uh, young lloyd bridges in there this was 1949 fantastic stuff i mean this movie was once taught lost and the guys sort of uh found it and, and preserved it and remastered it and all this sort of stuff and uh, really cool again uh two disc dual format and you get the booklet in there as well really nice so what i will say about these sets that flicker rally do is uh, i know a lot of people like the arrow video releases and criterion with the booklets and the stuff that flicker rally is doing uh, rivals any of those guys in terms of content as well there's a lot of great bonus features on these releases so uh let me get into the three movies uh, or the three releases i want to talk about here today in this video spotlight on flicker rally so the first one up, these are all actually available right now. If you're interested in picking these up, head on over to Flickr Alley's website. The first one is the Bolshevik Trilogy I was sent. This is three films by Sevalod Podovkin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these right. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure. I believe he was a uh, Russian uh, silent movie uh, filmmaker. So this is uh, three movies in sort of one release here. So just want to look at the packaging first. Really cool artwork here on the front and there's the back. So when you open up, you're going to get... Um, this is a deluxe Blu-ray edition, so you're going to get two discs Blu-ray. This is region free, A, B, and C. You get a booklet in here, and you get some fantastic artwork in here. It's not reversible sleeve art, but there's some really cool uh, artwork in there uh, either way. And uh, you get a little booklet here. There's some essays and things of that nature in there. Some, uh, some great artwork. Uh, uh, like Russian posters for the movies, original posters and stuff, and some writings on the film and some credits as well. And uh, I really like the, uh, the, the kind of go with color schemes for these releases, Flickr Rally, so really, really cool. Uh, black and yellow on the two discs there. So these are um, three movies, as I mentioned, by Podovkin. So um, first one up here is, uh, this is the Bolshevik Trilogy, 1926 to 1928. Uh, so first one up here is Mother, 1928. This is uh, one, you guys know I'm, I'm into the technical uh, specs of the stuff. So let me just kind of talk about these for a little bit here. 1926, one through three to one aspect ratio. So you'll get like black bars, uh, uh, pillar box on either side of your picture, which is going to be kind of uh, that old school four to three looking uh, aspect ratio on this. 87 minutes long, Mother runs, and it, it features a DTS HD Master Audio two channel uh, stereo track and as I mentioned uh, ABC regions so it's region free. Disc 1 features the first two movies and disc 2 features the third movie and all the bonus features uh, as far as I can remember I watched this a while back but um, yeah fantastic stuff Mother um, it was uh, based on a novel by Maxim Gorky uh, presented in with English subtitles, intertitles, apologies. So let me kind of explain here. There is, um, this is the, this is Podovkin's uh, silent movie debut and uh, it features intertitles. So basically those old school kind of, you know, cards come in to tell you what's going on and then it kind of cuts back to the silent movie. So um, the intertitles are English, they're not Russian, not the original Russian. So they've made new intertitles for this. Really cool. Uh, piano score by Antonio Coppola. I just thought I'd mention here because it's fantastic looking back at these silent movies because you really kind of how music can portray the emotions and the feeling of what's going on in a silent movie because you have no dialogue uh, it's really fantastic and um, this one's kind of about the 1905 revolution uh, mother i believe this one was 
So the second movie up here is The End of St. Petersburg. This is the following year, 1927, 73 minutes long. Once again, one three three to one aspect ratio with those black bars left and right of your picture. DTS HD Master Audio two channel stereo track. Uh, as I mentioned, this is all on disc one. And um, this one does feature the original Russian intertitles with English subtitles on there. So you're getting those original Russian uh, text cards if you want to call them that but insert titles is the proper title for them and um, once again you know the music i find is uh, fascinating find it fantastic in these silent movies there is a fantastic orchestral score by vladimir yurovsky in this that i thought i'd mention here uh, really really cool um, this was the end of St. Petersburg. I'm reading off the back as well as I go along. It was the to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the October Revolution, and uh, with the with those original uh, Russian intertitles, really really cool. So we jump over to disc two then in the set. As I mentioned, this features the final movie in the trilogy, Storm Over Asia. So this is the following year again, 1928. This one goes 130 minutes once again with that DTS HD Master Audio two channel stereo track, and um, this is a. 2k scan and restoration uh, remaster off of original 35 mil uh, film elements which is really cool and um, they sometimes the flicker rally stuff it's not the greatest looking but they get the best elements they can there is some scratches and stuff uh, involved throughout these but i mean these films are from 1926 to 1928 so uh, perfect versions are not available anymore so they do the best with those 2k uh, restorations on this one again this features the original the original russian intertitles with english subtitles this one features a fantastic score by timothy brock once again the music really sort of portrays the feelings and emotions of what's going on in the actual movie so fantastic stuff so just a quick sort of a roundup of this bolshevik trilogy um there's some great imagery in these three movies fantastic stuff black and white looks fantastic nice restoration by flicker alley here um it's interesting to look back at the origins of kind of you know movies and silent movies and stuff i find it quite interesting to kind of take a look at these sort of world uh world movies and stuff and then um, it's really interesting to see how music or a score can and like work without having to have dialogue or you know uh foley or adr or whatever they call us you know sound effects and stuff uh, really cool bonus features on the bolshevik trilogy there is 47 minutes of bonus content which is really cool going for uh, this two disc release there is a uh, padovkin's uh, directorial debut uh called chess fever it's uh 20 28 minutes there's a visual essay is nine minutes uh principles of editing six minutes there is uh, amateur images of saint petersburg two minutes and um, a couple of other things and you get that booklet in there as well so that kind of rounds up the first one the bolshevik trilogy Next one up from Flickr Valley is this fantastic, fascinating 3D Rarities 2, a collection of ultra rare and stunningly restored 3D films. I was really looking forward to this one when they sent it over to me. Uh, fantastic stuff, great. Uh, they've gone with the pink and the black sort of uh, color scheme on this release. And when we open up, we get the continuation in there on the disc. There is some artwork and uh, once again, a nice little booklet, glossy booklet in there as well. This is a really cool release. Um, so this kind of, uh, this release 3D Rarities 2 kind of has three main sort of features. So the first one is actually 3D shorts. It's 55 minutes of just various 3D shorts. Now I will mention, I did have a 3D set up here at home. Uh, a couple of years back and I don't anymore so I did you can just watch these in 2D but there is the option of 3D on the same disc as well it's really cool so I watched all these in 2D but I said it would look pretty cool in 3D um, the, as I mentioned the first thing up here is 3D shorts it's 55 minutes of short movies uh, two channel stereo uh, DTS HD master audio track on this one there's various aspects ratios so I'm not going to go through for each thing but uh, there's some cool stuff let me talk about some of these A Day in the Country um, has a fun sort of put your 3D glasses on instructions at the start. I thought that was funny. Uh, there's some kind of image ghost and we, was call, we would call it's been a projectionist where it's kind of a double image kind of slightly apart. You can see the kind of 3D and how that works. And uh, just some stuff out in the countryside. Uh, Black Swan Ballet is in there, pretty cool. Mid-century memories in Kodachrome stereo. This is kind of the history of 3D photos and there's some great and fantastic looking photos in there. Really cool, really interesting. Games in depth is like sports, music, film and stuff, uh, planes, boats, swimming, lots of cool stuff like that. Frankenstein's Bloody Terror Prologue um, is, a, is a scope 235 to 1, so you get the black bars top and bottom on that one. 
uh, fantastic stuff. And then there is a trailer for a 3D movie documentary back in 1983, um, Roller Coaster, The Three Stooges, all that sort of stuff. That's a 185 to one aspect ratio, so full screen picture on that. The second feature on this disc is called El Corazon y la Espada. Hopefully my Spanish is working there. It's 88 minutes. It's a full length feature uh, 3D Spanish movie, as you can guess. Two channel stereo. Uh, you can listen to the Spanish orders dubbed. And um, there's audio, also audio commentary as well on this one. Um, really cool. Titles, composition, foreground, background stuff going on. It's in black and white. Looks really cool. Nice restoration again, as I mentioned. Flick Rally do a fantastic job. Cesar Romero is in here as a nice tie-in to the channel here. You guys know I'm a big Batman fan. So, of course, Cesar Romero played the Joker in the original Batman TV series in the 60s. So, he's in this one. And, uh, yeah, 4K scan and uh, restoration. They've done a frame by frame restoration with most of them like really painstakingly like, you know, frame by frame uh, restoration on that feature in here. So the third thing up here on the release is uh, Harold Lloyd. He's a silent film icon and it's his Kodachrome stereoscopic photos, uh, his personal collection of these cool like 3D, early 3D photos. Really fantastic looking stuff. Uh, really fascinating to see them and it's narrated by his granddaughter so it's really cool. And uh, yeah, if you're kind of interested in 3D or like the history of 3D, early 3D stuff, this would be a fantastic addition to your collection. Once again, Flickr Alley knocked this one out of the park. So the final one I want to spotlight here in this Flickr Alley video is the most recent release I was sent. This is Spring Night, Summer Night. This is a Joseph L. Anderson movie that I was sent here. Really cool. 1967, 84 minutes long. Uh, black and white, 166 to 1 aspect ratio. Really nice. I'm really liking these black and white films I've been watching lately. Uh, nice restoration. LPCM, one channel mono audio audio track on this and this is in uh, a dual format release blu-ray and dvd in here you get the nice booklet and uh, some really cool there is reversible sleeve art on this but i this is the artwork i like so i stuck with this one region free either way dvd or blu-ray fantastic stuff so uh directed by joseph l anderson uh, cast includes larue hall ted heimerdinger marjorie johnson and john crawford this is really really cool because um this is the original unseen director's cut of the movie. Fantastic stuff. Brand new 4K restoration of the original camera negative. Um, there's original camera work in there, like motorcycle POV shots, handheld stuff, all that sort of thing. Um, really cool about this was the director, uh, Joe L. Anderson, was a film professor at the time in the University of Ohio. So he literally kind of, I believe he went out on like weekends and stuff with an, un, not like an unprofessional, but it's a non-professional acting cast uh, and crew. It was really interesting about how it was all put together, but uh, really, really cool stuff. All done on location with like a little to no budget. I think basically the budget paid for the 35 mil camera and film uh, to shoot the movie. But um, yeah, so AV stuff about this is, um, you know, the audio is what it is. It does the job. I found the dialogue a little bit difficult to understand at times, uh, just in the mix. Um, it's kind of low down in, in that mono mix. A um, little bit disappointing, but uh, otherwise really cool. It does does what it's you know says on the tin mono. You're not going to get much more basic than that. Um, really nice restoration, as I mentioned. Flickr Rally always do a really good job on the restorations. And it uh, looks really cool in black and white, this one. Bonus features on this release. There's three hours of, almost three hours of bonus features, which is really, really cool. There is um, the Blue, Gla Blue Grass Trilogy, uh, 16 minutes. It's it's three short films by the director, J.L. Anderson. Um, so there's three of them in there, about five minutes each. Um, you get In the Middle of the Nights, from Art House to Grindhouse House and back again. Uh, just kind of, you know, about the movie is 13 minutes long. Um, the exploration of the lo the shooting locations is in there. That's 14 minutes long. You have um, 16 mil on set behind the scenes footage from 67. That runs an hour and three minutes long. It's pretty cool. Um, you have kind of 50 years later, like a look back at the movie, 24 minutes long. Um, there is a Q&A from 2016. Um, in there 47 minutes long and you get a slideshow photo gallery with about just under 70 pictures in there so really really cool uh on this one spring night summer night so that kind of rounds up these uh these three releases that i wanted to kind of spotlight here from Flickr rally really really cool um i do recommend checking out their website because they do some fantastic like rarity stuff like these and they're doing a really good job and as i've mentioned and hopefully shown you guys here in this video with the booklets and the reversible sleeve art the, and the bonus content, they're rivaling any other uh, distributor out there for this stuff, uh, really like uh, specific uh, stuff if you're looking for 
they probably have it and they do fantastic stuff these wouldn't be things i would overly be looking for myself but once i get them to review and i watch them it's really cool it kind of opens you up to some other uh, some movies and films that you wouldn't necessarily maybe think of so i do recommend checking out those ones that i've mentioned here and if you want to go back and check out my review of trapped uh, please do check that out as well so that's going to do it for this video hopefully you guys like it if you do please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you wouldn't mind please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time i post a new video social media links have been up in this top corner if you want to give me a follow on there please do i'm pretty active thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you on the next video